Jewish literature includes works written by Jews on Jewish themes, literary works written in Jewish languages on various themes, and literary works in any language written by Jewish writers. Ancient Jewish literature includes biblical literature and rabbinic literature. Medieval Jewish literature includes not only rabbinic literature but also ethical literature, philosophical literature, mystical literature, various other forms of prose including history and fiction, and various forms of poetry of both religious and secular varieties. The production of Jewish literature has flowered with the modern emergence of secular Jewish culture. Modern Jewish literature has included Yiddish literature, Ladino literature, Hebrew literature, especially Israeli literature, and Jewish American literature. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Medieval Jewish literature. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Fiction. Prominent examples of medieval Jewish fiction included Sefer HaMasiyo by Nisim B. Jacob B. Nisim ibn Shahin of Kairouan, written in Arabic, a book of fables based on Agadic legends. Sefer Sha'ashuam, by Joseph ibn Zabara, 12th century, a story combining folktales, epigrams, and passages of philosophy and science. Ben ha Melek ve ha Nazir, by Abraham B. Samuel ha Levi ibn Hazdeh, based on an Indian tale based on the life of Buddha. Mashal ha Kadmoni, by Isaac ibn Sahula, 13th century, combining Agata with original stories. Mishli Shu'alim, Fox Fables, by Berachia ben Natronai ha Nakdan, Hebrew fables which resemble Aesop's fables. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Poetry. Liturgical Jewish poetry flourished in the land of Israel in the 7th and 8th centuries with the writings of Yos ben Yos, Yanai, and Eliezer Kalir, later Spanish, Provençal, and Italian poets wrote both religious and secular poems. Particularly prominent poets were Solomon ibn Gabriel and Yehuda Halevi. Little writing by Jewish women survives from this period. One Arabic stanza is attributed to the 7th century Sarah of Yemen, who may have been Jewish. One stanza in Hebrew by the wife of Dunash ben Labrat survives from the 10th century, and three poems in Arabic attributed to the Andalusian woman Kasmana survive from the 12th. The first female Jewish poet to write poetry in German was Rachel Ackerman, 1522 to 1544, who wrote a poem titled Geheimnis de Hofas, The Mystery of the Courts, in which she described the intrigues of courtiers. A female Jewish poet writing in Yiddish during the same period was Rebecca Bat Meir Tichtener, author of a poem about Simchat Torah in 40 couplets. Other medieval Jewish literature Medieval Jewish literature also includes Jewish philosophical literature Mystical Kabbalistic literature Musar literature, ethical literature dealing with virtues and vices Halakhic literature Commentaries on the Bible <laughs> Modern Jewish literature Modern Jews continue to write standard forms of rabbinic literature, Jewish philosophical literature, mystical Kabbalistic literature, Musar ethical literature, Halakhic literature, and commentaries on the Bible about the king himself. The modern era also saw the creation of what is generally known as modern Jewish literature, discussed here. Modern Jewish literature emerged with the Hebrew literature of the Haskalah and broke with religious traditions about literature. Therefore, it can be distinguished from rabbinic literature which is distinctly religious in character. Modern Jewish literature was a unique Jewish literature which often also contributed to the national literatures of many of the countries in which Jews lived. 18th century Hebrew literature It was with Moses Chaim Lozato that Hebrew poetry shook off the medieval fetters which hindered its free development. His allegorical drama, La Yesherim Tehillah, 1743, which may be regarded as the first product of modern Hebrew literature, has been described as, "...a poem that in its classic perfection of style is second only to the Bible." In Amsterdam, Lozado's pupil, David Franco Mendes in his imitations of Jean Racine, Adelia", 
and of Metastasio. Yehudit continued his master's work, though his works are not as respected as were Lozato's. In Germany, the leader of the Haskala movement Naftali Hartwig Wesley has been regarded as the «poet laureate» of his era. Lozato and Wesley also wrote works of ethical Musar literature, and Lozato's Masilat Yesharim gained particular prominence. 19th century Hebrew literature See also, Revival of the Hebrew language in Galicia, important literary artists included Nachman Krochmal (1785–1840), Solomon Judah Loeb Rapoport (1790–1867), and the satirical poet and essayist Isaac Erder (1792–1841), and lyric poet and translator Meir Halevi Letteris (1815–1874). Writers in Amsterdam included the poet Samuel Molder (1789–1862). Writers in Prague included the Haskalah leader Jehuda Loeb Jaitels (1773–1838), author of witty epigrams Bene ha Niram", and of works directed against Hasidism and against superstition. Writers in Hungary included the poet Solomon Lewison of Moore (1789–1822), author of Melitzet Yeshurin, the poet Gabriel Sudfeld, father of Max Nordo, and the poet Simon Bacher. Romanian writers of note included Julius Barish. Italian Jewish writers included I.S. Reggio (1784–1854), Joseph Almanzi, Chaim Solomon, Samuel Vita Lali (1788–1843), Rachel Morpurgo (1790–1860), whose poems evince religious piety and a mystic faith in Israel's future, and Samuel David Lozato (1800–65), who has been described as the first modern writer to introduce religious romanticism into Hebrew. Hebrew writers in the Russian Empire included. The poet Jacob Eichenbaum, the Haskalah leader Isaac Bear Levinson, Kalman Shulman (1826–1900), who introduced the Romantic form into Hebrew, the Romantic poet Micah Joseph Levinson (1828–52), the father of prose, Lithuanian author M. A. Ginsberg, and the father of poetry, Lithuanian poet Abraham Bear Levinson, whose poems Shire Safat Kadesh were extraordinarily successful. The creator of the Hebrew novel was Abraham Mapu (1808–67), whose historical romance *A Hobbit Zion* exercised an important influence on the development of Hebrew. The poet Judah Lieb (Leon Gordon) was a satirist who has been characterized as an implacable enemy of the rabbis. Topic: <laughs> Early 20th century Hebrew literature. Chaim Naaman Bialik (1873–1934) was one of the pioneers of modern Hebrew poetry and came to be recognized as Israel's national poet. Bialik contributed significantly to the revival of the Hebrew language. His influence is felt deeply in all subsequent Hebrew literature. Another prominent Hebrew poet of Bialik's era was Shal Chernikovsky (1875–1943), who is especially well known for his nature poetry and for his interest in the culture of ancient Greece. Israeli literature Among Israeli writers, Shmuel Yosef Agnon won the Nobel Prize for Literature for novels and short stories that employ a unique blend of Biblical, Talmudic and modern Hebrew. Other Israeli authors whose works have been translated into other languages and who have attained international recognition include Ephraim Kishon, Yaakov Shabtai, A. B. Yehoshua, Amos Oz, Irat Liner, Edgar Karat and Yehoshua Sobel. Topic. Yiddish literature Modern Yiddish literature is generally dated to the publication in 1864 of Sholem Yankev Abramovich's novel Dos Klein Menschel the, Little Person. the most important of the early writers to follow Abramovitz were Sholem Rabinovich, popularly known by his alter ego, Sholem Aleichem, and Iel Peretz. Later Yiddish writers of note include Abraham Sutkaver, Isaac Beshevis Singer, who won the Nobel Prize in 1978, and Chaim Grade. American Jewish literature American Jewish literature written in English includes the works of Gertrude Stein, Henry Roth, Saul Bellow, Norman Mailer, Bernard Malamud, Chaim Podick, and Philip Roth. 
The poetry of Allen Ginsberg often touches on Jewish themes notably the early autobiographical works such as Howl and Kaddish. Recent Jewish American literature includes the writings of Paul Auster, Michael Chabon, Joshua Cohen, Jonathan Safran Foer and Art Spiegelman. <laughs> German Jewish literature Jewish authors who wrote in German and made outstanding contributions to world literature include the German poet Heinrich Heine and the Bohemian novelist Franz Kafka. Other significant German Jewish poets and essayists include Berthold Auerbach, Paul Sellin, Else Lasker Schuler, Ernst Lissauer, Jacob Raphael Furstenthal, Siegfried Einstein, Nellie Sachs, Karl Krauss, Egan Friedel, and Eric Mussum. German Jewish novelists include Lion Feuchtwanger, Edgar Hilsenrath, Alfred Doblin, Arthur Schnitzler, Anna Segers, Hermann Brach, Franz Werfel, Joseph Roth, Jakob Wassermann, and Stefan Zweig. Russian language Jewish literature Isaac Babel was a Soviet journalist, playwright, and short story writer acclaimed as the greatest prose writer of Russian Jewry. Other Russian writers of Jewish descent include Boris Pasternak, who never wrote on Jewish themes, Joseph Brodsky, a poet who won the Nobel Prize in 1987, Osip Mandelstam, another famous poet, wooer of Akhmatova, and victim of the Soviets. Vasily Grossman's experiences in World War II provide the main material for his novels. Topic: <laughs> Ladino literature. The primary forms of modern Ladino literature have been fables and folktales. Ladino fables and folktales often have Jewish themes, with biblical figures and legendary characters, and many of them feature the folk character, Ajoa, also, Joha. In 2001, the Jewish Publication Society published the first English translation of Ladino folktales, collected by Matilda Cohen Serrano, Folktales of Joha, Jewish Trickster, The Misadventures of the Guileful Sephardic Prankster. Modern Ladino poets include Margalit Matityahu, Avner Puritz, Victor Pereira, Rita Gabay Samantov, and Sarah Benvenisti Benra. Topic references This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Richard Gothile, N. Slush Literature, Modern Hebrew. In Singer, Isidore, et al. Jewish Encyclopedia. New York, Funk and Wagnalls Company.